so we're going to talk about some single stem um, centerpiece options. So these are going to be a little bit easier. Um, I usually remember all those breaks that I told you to save in the large ones. So we're going to utilize some of those. So getting double use out of some of the stems, which is nice. Um, and then I like to just cluster them on a table with some candlelight and we'll post some pictures for you too so that you have an idea of what that looks like together. But so what I do is I start with, um, I get little vintage bottles or single stem bottles. We fill them up with water and then I kind of go through and figure out how I want them to look on the table. So I usually put the tall in the middle and then kind of work my way out, but with clustering them in a asymmetric design. Um, so that gives me conceptual idea of what the vases will look like. And then I go in and I add my florals. So I had some of the greenery that was at the bottom of the stem. It was too short to use in the big one, but we can use it in here. So I add some uh, greenery. There's another piece like that. And then I've also got, um, you know, I can come in. Again, we're gonna save these because we've got projects with those later. Um, you know, I like to cut from the bottom so that I'm getting the most out of my stem. And don't even be afraid. So this one's really too long. Um, what I do is I come in here and I cut right at the very top of the last leaf. And then now I can get multiple usage out of that which is super important, right? Because you, you're wanting to stay on budget and want to make sure that you're able to get the most use out of everything. So instead of throwing it on the floor, use it. Um, and you know, you can put greenery in all of them, not put greenery in everything. You can decide how full you want it. Um, completely up to you. And then I'm also going to take these little um, bottom pieces from the Larkspur that we saved as well. And we're going to pop that in. Um, Again, bringing the height up. So it doesn't have to be super short. I like to design in odd numbers like we were talking about, so we don't wanna make it look like antennas. So we're gonna add a third one in there. And then it doesn't have to be in every bottle. Every bottle can be different, but now we've utilized all the little stems that could have potentially been trash um, and turned them into a beautiful centerpiece. I still would recipe some flowers in here just in case, um, you know, you don't want to be rely on something and then it not be usable because then at that point um, we don't want any freak outs. Um, even some of these breaks of the actual buds, the single buds are going to be long enough to put in some of the shorter bottles. So as long as they have a water source. on that side, we'll come over here. And then I have, I pulled some blue thistle, which again, we were talking about earlier, has a ton of breaks on it. Um, I pulled a stem of white stock and a stem of white lisianthus. So I'm just going to kind of cut up this blue thistle. And we're gonna utilize that in many different ways. Um, so put that one there have this one here. And I love blue thistle because it just adds all the texture. Um, there's so much texture in, in this bloom. There's even some that I've seen. It's, um, it's called eyelash and it's, it's huge. And so pretty. So I'm gonna double this one up so he's a little bit fuller. But for me, like right now, it's a lot of blue going on. So we're going to come in and add some of the more white as well to make sure that we've got enough color depth in these arrangements. So again, I'm going to take it and cut it and get two uses out of one stem. It's like magic. All right. Okay, so we've got that. And then I feel like he's a little bit off balance. So what I'm gonna come in and do, I've got some of this beautiful chamomile. 
and we're going to utilize a little bit in this. It just adds a little bit more daintiness. We like the little blooms. With adding a little bit more white in there. Cause like I said, it was looking a little too blue for me. Um, and you can kind of do the same thing. So this one's got uh, four different breaks on it. And if you cut, now if you wanted to put some in the bouquet, you have some for the bouquets and then you have some for your centerpieces. So fun little trick. And there is your vintage bottle centerpiece. So um, let us know if you have any questions.